A string, or string literal, is a series of zero or more characters enclosed in single or double quotes. There is the string of my name, which is Bo. If you need a quote character in your string, you can escape a quote from considering it as an end of a string quote by placing a backslash in front of the quote. So here, let me show you that. So here, I made a string, and it's he said hi. So it, that's going to look like this. He said hi. When you put a backslash in front of the quote character, the program knows that you're not trying to end the string, you're just trying to use the quote character in the string. Uh, string values in JavaScript may be written with single or double quotes, so, so long as you start and end with the same type of quote. You don't have to escape a quote character as long as it is a different type of quote character than what is surrounding your string. So what you could do, you can make this sentence one again, you can not escape these quote characters, and you can put a single quote at the end and at the beginning. Okay. There are also other characters you need to escape, which means to put a backslash in front, in order to use them as a string. So, yeah, backslash single quote, that's how you do the single quote, here's how you do the double quote. Whenever you want a backslash in a string, you just do two backslashes. The first backslash is the escape character. You can also put in a new line, a carriage return, a tab, a backspace, and a form feed. You can concatenate or put two strings together with the plus operator. So here, it's going to put two strings together. It's going to look like this. And it's basically just going to be one string that has my name, Bo Carnes. And watch out for spaces. Concatenation does not add spaces between concatenated strings. So you have to add them yourself. That's why I have the space after the word Bo. You can also concatenate strings and variables. So that would just be my name is Bo Carnes. This is my name is, and it's going to add the full name, which is this variable up here. Another way to concatenate strings is, use, is using the plus equals operator, like this. So the plus equals operator means that you are going to start with this variable and then add this to the end of the variable. It really means full name equals full name plus is my name. So the full name variable is now going to be, so that's what the full name variable is gonna be now. The final thing I wanna tell you about strings is that in JavaScript, string values are immutable, which means they cannot be altered once created. Now you can assign a variable to a new string but you can't actually change the original string. We have sentence twice. Uh, you, so you can assign sentence to a new string, but you can't actually change the original string. Like arrays, you can change an element in the array, but you can't change a character in the string after you create it. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.